Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade your low quality and low bitrate songs to lossless quality songs using iTunes Match. Now, iTunes Match is very easy to sign up for. You can do it right within iTunes and it's a $24.99 yearly subscription service. And you can see here I've subscribed and all I have to do is hit add this computer. I'm going to click that and then it's going to ask me to sign in with my password. So now you can see it's gathering information about my iTunes library. After that it's going to match my music with songs in the iTunes store and then upload remaining songs and artwork and this is a process it might take a little while to run. I don't have a huge iTunes library, so it probably won't take forever, uh, but it probably will be a little bit lengthy. So I'll come back when it's finished. So iTunes Match has now finished uploading the rest of my iTunes library and finishing everything up with iCloud and iTunes Match. And you can see here now that I can access iCloud from an iPhone or iPad or an iPod Touch uh, that is running iOS 5. And all I have to do is turn on iTunes Match in the Settings app on the iOS device. So I can click Done. So now on iTunes you'll see this new little cloud button right up here in the top bar and this will show any songs that are not downloaded to your library. So let's just say I delete a song from my iTunes library and remove it and move it to trash. Now you can see that the little cloud button shows up right next to it. And I can click the little cloud button and download it right to my Mac. And it only really takes a little bit of time and you can see it's downloaded right there. Now as you may know about iTunes Match, your music is by default 256 kilobits per second and that is with all tracks with iTunes Match. Now here's what the cool thing is. You can theoretically upgrade all of your music with iTunes Match from any low bit rate to a nice 256 kilobit. So the way you can see your, your bit rate in iTunes is right click on your little information bar right here and now you're going to see this list of all these different columns you can add and delete from iTunes. So if I select bit rate you'll see this new column here and it shows me the bit rate of each song. So I have a lower bit rate song here and then I have two higher bit rate songs. So now you can see I have a song here selected and if I look at the bit rate it's only 96 kilobits which is relatively low and not a very high quality track. So as long as this track has been identified in the iTunes store and wasn't a track that was uploaded, I can just delete the track from my iTunes library. The track will stay there it'll just show the little cloud download button right next to it. But just to be safe, before you delete any tracks from your iTunes library, I just like to drag it to the desktop to make a copy of it. I can always bring it back into iTunes, just in case it wasn't a file that iTunes Match had identified and in in instead just uploaded, because then you just don't get the track back. So I just right click on this, and I can click delete. Now note again that this track was 96 kilobits. So I'm going to hit remove, and I'm just going to hit move the trash. And now you can see it shows the little cloud download button right here. So if I click download, it's going to start downloading and it's going to take, you know, a few seconds. It's not a huge file. So it'll finish up in about 31 seconds and I'll be back then. Now you can see that the track has re-downloaded and if we look at the bitrate column, oh look at that, 256 kilobits. And this is the full quality track that you'd get right out of iTunes. So let's say you ripped a CD in low quality and all your tracks are on iTunes in a low quality and assuming iTunes Match identified the tracks you'll now be able to just delete the tracks and re-download them in the full quality. So once again like I've stated this doesn't work with tracks that are uploaded to iTunes Match those will disappear from your iTunes library altogether so you have to kind of be a little careful about what you delete and it's always good to like save your files. But you can see here I've just transferred a 96 kilobit track into 256 kilobits and I can do this with theoretically every song I have just by subscribing to iTunes Match. So there's how you can use iTunes Match to upgrade your low quality audio tracks in iTunes to a higher quality track just by subscribing to iTunes Match. And this bitrate column is a very handy column that you can use to decide which tracks you want to replace with the higher quality ones and which ones you'll want to leave. Uh, for example, if I delete this track, 
I'm not going to be able to download it in any higher quality. It'll probably actually downgrade it to 256 kilobits per second. So I wouldn't really want it to do that because this is a 320 kilobit per second track. So like always, if you have anything that you'd like to see me do a how-to on, make sure to send me an email. I hope you found this video useful, and thank you for watching.